Hey there, everyone, the South Alpine Laws Viking, and I'm being threatened by LLMO. Last time, that's right, we stepped out of a spaceship and then ended up taking a ride through a nebula? Honestly, it's pretty lucky that y'all are alive, all things considered. Alright, and here we go. Brand new world, and now the game can start for real. So there's water. I'm assuming that Vikings can't... Alright, we just got this Allosaur here. So that's right! Uh, that I knew about. It turns out this game has a time-traveling plot all this time. And thus the first title, the title of the first video I gave it. It all makes sense now. Well, that, that slug snail takes a lot more hits than the one in the intro, doesn't it? Yo, check that out. I ain't get you. I'm not sure how I would, like, amass enough speed to be able Can you, like, do that? But then, like, no. Oh, you do that. Okay. Well, there we go. We got ourselves a bomb. A prehistoric bomb. I'm assuming prehistory because, again, there was a blue din- There's a blue dinosaur right here. The implications are pretty clear. This is trying to bite at me, but it's really bad at its job. Its job of surviving. <laughs> of just eating to live. Alright, look at that over here. I don't know what that is over there. It's like an extra shield. Can you- Whoa. So, this feels super weird because I can't really tell what platforms it can- go into, up against, and not, but there you go, stand in the way. I guess we should bring Stinky over, that's right, I'm the guy with a sword. My goal is strictly to destroy others, <laughs> how's it going? Like, oh, so you don't go like from up here, I don't know from, oh, maybe you're supposed to like to jump through that, I don't know, it's hard kind of tell, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look important, so I'm not, ooh. Why am I doing this this way? I don't know. Like, I'm just making this way harder on myself, but here we go. Yeah, that's right. We're doing that. Destroy the world sometimes. All right, then we're gonna put you in position right here. I guess the smart thing to do would be to give Olaf the king. So you go like here, go slay, go you. You have it. And so then I can press this button, and then this guy can use it, and then, you know, we're still protected. Like, I feel like after you deal with one enemy behind a wall, like, we, we get it, we understand what you have to do, there's, there's not a whole lot of room for more. It's basically the same puzzle being repeated, but, you know what, it's fine. Alright, go here, use that, that's right, I opened up a door. Oh, okay, I think we need help. I'm assuming that there's land there? Okay. I <laughs> wasn't sure about the cutoff with the water, but... I, that was kind of important, because otherwise, you just wouldn't be able to go. So I start pressing left there before a camera was on him, and he didn't move, so... Something good to keep in mind, you won't move if you're not on camera and ready, so good to know. Alright, did it! Oh my gosh, here's the exit! I found it! It's right here! Someone wrote exit in plain English in Prehistorion. It's nice to be outside. They are kinda cute, honestly. I mean, they barely try. They were just doing little play bites on a chunk of wood. There's a toy. Ah, oh, well, flat! Float? So, LLMO still don't know what that means. I still have no clue what that could even start to begin to mean. But this float, oh, is it gonna be like a level all about you and your hand glider? Your very strong piece of wood machine? I'm just kinda getting these fruits. I don't know if I should, I don't know if I need them. All right, here we got like a brazier. All right, that's just steak. I mean, steak is good, but not what we need necessarily. All right, here we go, we go here, and then we end up at this place, and then you're like, Wow, I manipulate the menu, and there we go, puzzle is solved, we have floated on to space. Now it's the dinosaur hour, featuring this guy. He's trying his best, it's just not very good. That's sad. Alright, so here we get, is your shield fireproof? Okay, sure. You know, it's lacquered, probably. Like, it's not just, it's probably treated. Hey, wait a second, you can't have a mailman. Or a mailman, or a caveman, there we go, I said the right thing. What's up with that? Or is it the Sonic the Hedgehog? 
OC because he sure is rolling around. It's probably Kid Chaos now that I think about it. Finally grown all up. Uh, good for him. I'm gonna slack dot slack that. There we go. These the buttons you gotta press. Red can stick in the back and watch the gremlin hour. Wait a sec, I'm missing yellow key. Where's yellow? Anyone seen yellowness anywhere? Uh, I didn't really explore here for what it's worth. Uh, all right, well, let's look around. Like, is there like, oh, things continue on to the left here. No, they don't. I made that up. All right. Um, okay, well, let's look around. Maybe I can jump somewhere here. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait, no, it's up there. Okay, I see. So we're gonna make a platform with Olaf, and then Red will be able to jump on it and get that. Alright. See, it all makes sense. Here we go. It's violence time. Destroy the world if you want to, which I do. Wrong button. Oh yeah, I almost ate a food there and almost wasted valuable resources. What a crazy game we play. Alright, so... Once again, I feel like the right strategy is to... Oh, you're not close enough? Oh, I need to be controlling you to be able to select it and give it to someone. Okay, I see. You can't go and, like, reach into someone else's pocket. No, this is an important gameplay things, alright? So... Oh my gosh, a guy is rolling around and it's... The thrill of a lifetime. Just kind of waiting for him to unravel. Oh boy. Like, really? Like, is that... Because, like, the implication I'm getting is that while he's rolling around, he is invincible. You gotta wait for him to stop. It's pretty good. Hey, one of these. So what is that? I'm gonna wait until there's, like, enemies around or something. In case it's an... It's pro like, it looks like a shield. So, but food... Enhance shield. Let's use it like right here. Let's just see what happens. Okay, extra health. All right. Now I know we get a little blue health uh, to make you sad. Get out of here, snaily. Yeah, you are dead now. Yeah. See, I'm feeling like I'm seeing an issue with one of the established patterns of this game is that wow, is battle just kind of absolutely nonsensical. I'm assuming in the future there's going to be setups where you can't just hide behind good buddy Olaf the wall, but uh, until then, yeah, <laughs> these battle encounters sure are happening. Alright, everyone hanging out by the exit. Welcome to the clock. That's what they call it. No one knows why. How do you get that, like, super meat? You're supposed to, like, run through this wall? You go like here and then you go like whoosh. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this giant steak and you can't stop me. I'm not even gonna eat it. I'm just gonna keep it in the corner of my inventory. All my inventories are corners though. Well, you know, I don't know. But check out their hair. Yes, everyone is saying how you guys need haircuts. How apropos. Trees, probably. All right, well, let's keep on keeping on. Welcome to Jungle Town, where we got trees and purple muck. Don't really understand that. I guess I'm just exploring here. That is the decision I have taken. Someone managed, all right. So we got like a whole totem of air. Let's look around down here real quick. Like, you know, there might be something we need. Let's just go here, then we're gonna run in here in this wall. That's right, giant steak wall. May better than wall chicken. Because that's part of a cow. I mean, you can just kind of get going with red. Oh, here's the yeah, So, like, the whole level, I feel like, is a challenge in getting the other guys around. Alright. Alright, so there's, like, Sonic, the blue guy. Look at that. He's rolling around. He's having a lot of fun. I'm pilling him with arrows. And then he gets invincible for another five minutes. Doing it! Alright, doom, death, and glory. So, what is our goal? I can go here. From here, like, I can walk here all I want, but as an Olaf, I can't really do much more than that. <sighs> Blue guy came back. Naturally. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Yeah, you just go through the same pathway. 
You know, like, these guys, they're all upper body strength, you know, steady, endurance, pushing, drawing, hitting, but leg strength, though, not there. Do not expect a mighty leap. Okay, so, there's a blue. Where am I? Wait, but I just want to get down here, right? Can I make that happen? Like, what if I just made you glide down here? And then make Stinky, like, just kind of land on your shield? Like, you might get hurt, but I don't think you'll die. Yeah! Alright, there you go! I don't know what was the intent of this level here, but that's how I do it! <laughs> get one of those wet. Those waterfalls or giant snails are pretty good. Tree houses. Hey, whoa, what? <laughs> How did I? Wait, no. How did I guess that? That was pure nonsense. Also, that was three levels, right? Pre prehistory. There we go. I I think that's prehistoric. No, that's three levels. I guess I'll do for today. Um. This is going by pretty quickly. I know the game gets hard and tricky and like unfair at some point. We're just not there yet.